Hi everyone, welcome. A few weeks ago, I did a Google search for black and white ephemera because I want to make a sign for my friend who's turning 50 in March. And one of the links that came up, sorry, this is going to be hard to see, was an Etsy shop called Kauai Moloko. As you can see by the address, from Coquitlam, BC, which is pretty close to me. So I thought I would look through the website and see what I could find. And if you spent, I believe it was $45, you got free shipping. It came in this cute pink bubble wrap package. And then I already opened it up so it wouldn't crinkle too much. She had another bubble wrap inside. So I've got all sorts of things I thought might come in handy for my decoupage. And I could put things in Happy Mail. One of the things I was thinking of was the black and white flowers, maybe. If I can open it up, I'll show you guys a little closer. They all have these little tiny envelopes with the pull-up thing. Ah, I can't even get open. And I've got a few vintagey things that might be good for Happy Mail for people. In particular, I'm going to link these ladies' channels below, but Carlene Gilpin and Tina at both like vintage. Oh, they're really tiny. Sorry, everybody. Okay, so they're, yeah, they're, they're little bitty things. And that's about the size of my thumb. Possibility, so they're nice and flat, and they would be good to decoupage with because they're not, like, too puffy and sticky yuppy and I hate trying to do stuff like that. So there's those ones. They're all kinds of different flowers. I also got this one that is like Victorian kids, basically. It looks like there's a table of some kind, but it's, it's all children. Um, this one is kind of cool, too. It's, well, it's almost steampunky in a way. It's got some gears, but there's also birds and some flowers and different things. I don't want to break into them all because they're all little and teeny. There's a clock back there, it looks like. We can see this all. Let's crack into this one. I'm curious now. Let's see what we got. Sorry, I had to move it closer so I could see the little line on the back where the flap started. Vision's not that good, you know, when you get old. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, there we go. It's a flower. Yeah, it's well, faintly steampunk. Okay, that looks like a key right there. Yep, yeah, yeah. Take that out without wrinkling it. Yep, little bitty key. Cute. Okay, there's that one. And now I don't want to get it in. Oh, it's going to get wrecked. Okay, let's, let's get this out of the way. All right, what else we got? This is all vintage stickers. They're sort of translucent -y background. Not white background. Let's dig out a couple and see what we can see. Sorry if they're crinkling. Okay, what do we got? Okay, more kids, looks like. Let's see what I mean. It's translucent. It's They're sort of plasticky, kind of. Various different ones here. Oh, no, now the thing's gone stuck shut again. Dang it. These little envelopes are usually kind of handy, but then they close up on themselves and it annoys me. Oh, here's a kill cool sign. Hold on. Take it out. That's cool. I like that one. Um, what else we got in? This is kind of random everything, this little bag. What else we got in here? That's weird. Oh, there's a, a frame. A couple of Victorian ladies. What do we got here? Oh, an old-fashioned baby pram. Isn't that cute? That one's got a bunch of different things in it. This one is all lace. Uh, vintage lace. Um, could be good. Oh, there's the end. Sorry, wrong way. Could be good cardboarders, maybe. I'm thinking of all my card-making friends here. You might get a couple goodies in the mail for me at some point in time. They are kind of... Well, not sepia exactly, but they're not really black and white either. Hold on, this one's... Let's 
see here. Yeah, it's stuck on the thing now. Yeah, the grayish, grayish green. Different color. All right, those are kind of cool. Um, and then I've got another one that looks like it's all oh, ladies, maybe? Hold on here. I'm sorry, everybody. It's really hard to keep these little envelopes open, or I would have opened them already, but they don't stay open. Okay, we got butterfly, uh, a hat, a lamp. What we got here? Oh, this is all random stuff, too. Oh, an old stamp like that. Um, yeah, there's oh yeah, this one's too eclectic to go through them all, but they're all this sort of translucent plastic sticker type stuff here. Oops, put the butterfly back in there. Lorene, I think you'll like that one. And this one is just like tags and little signs. In those brown tones. Sorry, I'll try to do this more on camera. It's really hard to see it in the camera and see my own eyeballs. Yeah, a whole bunch of different shapes. Some of them have like a dark red background. Some of them are black. This one is blue. This one's green. That's sort of a grayish brown color. So, yeah, different shapes and sizes. And then this one I got. Blah! Once I drop it. It says gift. Now, honestly, it took a while to come, so I don't really remember what the heck it was I ordered. So this could very well be something that Carol just, just threw in. Her name is Debbie that runs the shop. So, And the prices were pretty reasonable for all this. Oh, yeah, there's little random bits of whatnot in this. Strawberry, some old tickets, a little bit of doily. Anyway, well, hey, cute stuff. I like all of it. Okay, so I'll go through all this and I'll see what will fit my purposes the best for various decoupage projects down the road. Possibly cards. Although, everybody, you need to know that if you do get a homemade card from me, it likely won't be very fancy. All you need to do to see my style of anything to do with paper craft is look at my scrapbook video and you'll know that, yeah, I don't do fancy. Minimalist is probably a good way to describe it. So, there we go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a like and consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. Bye, everybody!